So I wanted to show you some of the other things that uh, Blender can do to really make your model stand out. First thing is with my startup here, I'm going to just go to the 100% and make sure that my uh, render is on the cycles render. Very important to have your GPU, your graphics processor working. Notice the white right there. If you don't see that, if it's gray, it's edit preferences for the system and make sure it's on optics with the GeForce GTX 1080 selected. That way you don't have too much lag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a student model from Kai and just I got some colors in there to work with um, that will really show what is possible here. So I'm going to go to my 3D model blender. I've got a special bonus projects folder with a DAE that I've exported and I'm going to look through the camera. So most of our models, if you made them about 10 feet across, are a little bit smaller. So uh, rather than move the camera, move the light closer, I'm going to press S when i am got my model selected here, Kai's model, and then just make it a little bigger. So let me go to my camera and I'm going to bring this camera up a little bit to show it and go to full rendered mode. And yes, there are going to be some speckles on there, but they go away uh, very, very quickly. So right now I've got the light and it's a little bit far away. If I orbit, you can see it's over there. To get a little more uh, dramatic lighting, I can also move that camera a little, I mean the light a little bit closer. So I've got some shadows and some light uh, shining on there. That's going to help um, show some of the effects I'm going to do. So first of all, I would like to uh, change this color right here into a mirror. Now you can make that metallic, which will make it more glossy. Um, just by going to the materials for that color, you simply select that color, something with that color, and go down here to what I call the beach ball, the material properties. And we can just go down and there's metallic right here. You can increase that metallic effect. And now as I orbit, you get a little bit of these other colors reflecting off of it. And so that can just give you a nice little shine right there. If you really want it to shine, however, we're going to change the shader. So that is right here what the surface um, is shading with. So how is the color treated here? So if we go up here, we've got a lot of different options. I'm going to go to the glossy one. So it has uh, more control over just how shiny that is. You also, it changes the color to white. So it's reflecting all the colors around. So that's why it's kind of a, a blue there. And you have one control here, the roughness that makes it shinier. So you may not even want the color to change back to what it was. Maybe you just reduce that roughness. And you can see little by little, it gets shinier and shinier. If you go all the way to zero, it's a perfect mirror. And uh, sometimes that's an effect you want. It can be hard to tell like what is really there and what's the mirror. So if you want to keep just a little bit of roughness in there, um, that way it's not a perfect copy. Sometimes 0.1 is a pretty good approximation of what uh, a real mirror what might do. Um, that way you got a little bit of change there. So you can do that same thing. I'll pick this other color right here and I'm going to make that. Once again, principled is the default. You go up here to glossy and then it makes it glossy. You bring this down some and now it's reflecting what is in the mirror. And of course, as soon as you let go, it's going to go ahead and fill that in so that all that noise is removed. Now, one of the things that um, can also be a lot of fun, is I'm going to choose this yellow that's down here. Notice I'm on the shadow side, so I can really show this. You see that yellow? Let's go to our shader again for the surface, and we're going to go to emission. So this is one place where you can make that. Um, you could also, there is an emission without changing the shader, and you can just bring that up and it'll make whatever color is there uh, a little brighter. Now you do have a color um, and we can make that golden light kind of just glowing from below. Very dramatic lighting. Uh, let's see what the difference is if we go ahead and change the shader to an actual emission. 
and we've got it's white and just going up so if we want that golden color we can bring that back down and I think it just does a little bit better job of the light bouncing around down in there so a uh, very dramatic look now you can only see that if we're here in the brighter part it pretty much just looks yellow uh, which is why moving that light over um, to this side now you can see that glow kind of coming up uh, a little bit better it's not being overpowered by the other light um, speaking of which you also have controls for the light maybe you want more light power maybe you want to bring this down so that um, if you're using that emission especially sometimes you want to bump it up a little bit so the colors brighten back up so here we have um, all these different um, mirrors and you got the emission from the light from the bottom um, you could make uh, instead of the yellow maybe the so it's all about what did you paint I actually went into this model and changed the color so that all of this at the top was not also a mirror so you may want to go back and carefully like decide add some new colors in certain places so they can do special things like this let's see what else did I want to show you glass so if we take this color right here we can also change our shader to a glass one and we can see through these now it also has a roughness so it is perfectly clear so if you have too much with glass and mirrors it can just be um, kind of hard for the eye to figure out what's happening so we might want to keep some of the roughness on the glass so that you can see it's kind of a frosted look um, as it's going around so you want to choose the glass one very carefully maybe a single sculpture like in the middle of your sculpture that is going to be made of glass let me undo a little bit and let's try making the green again go to the beach ball principled to glass and now we can see through that and of course the red that's on the other side is not glass so it's kind of you can kind of see if we look at it from an angle how uh, and notice that it's taking a little bit longer for blender to do this renders it's why we need to have this would take forever uh, without the graphics card um, but you can kind of see the frostedness in there if we bring that down you've got a very clear glass going around it so you might want to also make the inside color a glass if you want that to really kind of be able to see the light shining up and through bring that roughness down a little bit let's go over here to the brighter side and just let that render out for a second now if you do this much um, and having your camera move as well this is something we'll want to render overnight um, in order for it to have plenty of time to go in and really re reduce all that noise for each frame to something really really uh, fancy so it's having a tough time uh, working through you can see right here um, it is done rendering but it has not reduced the noise as much as we would like those settings are here with EV I mean with cycles and the digital camera icon and you can see how many samples are being used for this quick viewport when we're doing an actual render this is where the samples are so if we want to see what that frame would look like 4096 now the viewport is going to go through all of those samples and make it a little bit nicer.